Hi guys, welcome to an upside down crochet rocks. Not that I'm upside down, just that this isn't the morning when I usually do this. So it's a bit weird. Um, if you, sorry about the noise of the fan, but it's actually my aircon um, and fan because it is ridiculous today. If I, tell, I cannot tell you how ridiculously hot this country is today, well, especially the southeast where I am. It's evil. And the sun's gone now, but there's that real warm kind of night coming in. You know, it's not night time, but it's clouded over. When perhaps we're going to get a storm, I don't know, but it is when you go out, the heat hits you, you know, one of those days. And um, if you're out where the breeze is, it's quite nice. A uh, nice warm breeze, and it is warm. But, um, you know, if you're not, it's stifling. So obviously, things that have been shut up all day, like cars in this caravan, or yarnavan, should I say, um, were mm, a little bit on the challenging side. So I've got the aircon blowing and the fan just for a little while to get this kind of nice and cool. So um, unfortunately, my, my ring light in the other room has bit the dust. Um, I tried um, doing my chat and it was kind of showing just this part of me. Now I've come to the conclusion, because when I say it, you can't see me, what you can actually, what I can see on the viewfinder is not the angle that you see. So um, when I was saying it was showing over me half my head, it wasn't, it was showing all of me and a bit above me. Um, but I, I was convinced you could only see it from there because that's all I could see. And uh, so I, I don't know what you would see if I recorded it as it was. So um, it is completely kaput. So until I can get a new one, I think the safest place for me to say hello to you is in here. And this is where I intended to record. The only thing is sometimes when it's raining cats and dogs might not want to come down here, but I'm going to have to just brave it. Or um, Jerry rig something, Jerry Manda, Jerry rig something else in there. I'm good at that usually okay so this is remember this book it's been a while since I've read from this one usually it's the other one that's in the other place um I, I think I did I always wanted an attic bedroom I had lofty ambitions I think I did that one yeah I don't know I can't remember so I'll do it anyway sorry if you've heard it before but if I've forgotten it chances are maybe you have you never know so I came out here to do a little impromptu giveaway and it is for this yarn well hey look at that gorgeousness that is popping up this evening as well so one will be before the other probably the giveaway first and then this will be like little chat before bed <laughs> maybe probably not I've got myself a drink so I figured I might as well do do a do a hello and tell you what happened this morning so it wasn't a, a like an emergency emergency but i had um i had a family issue that needed kind of attention so um by the time that was in you know done and all clear just moving my my stool it's actually a step ladder but i'm using it as a stool um by the time that was all done it was time to go to the cinema um, because Gary and I went to see The Equaliser 3 and it was really, really good, I have to say. Um, now, I think they have said it's the last one, the final chapter. And I'm kind of hoping not because although if it was real, you know, they wouldn't let him off all those murders in um, number one or number two. And he would be rotting somewhere in an orange jumpsuit, if truth be told. But, um, or death, <laughs> look at the death penalty. But, um, you know, as a, as a tongue-in-cheek kind of action movie, it's pretty, pretty cool. I liked it anyway. It was, it was good. Um, Gary said it was the best one out of the three, so that's um, quite strong praise. We watched both uh, the others uh, over the last couple of nights so that we would sort of, although they don't follow on exactly, there's nods to them in the others. But I figured it would get us in the mood for it. 
so while we were there there was a a trailer for that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio which is the killing of the flower moon or something it's obviously about Native Americans and oil and being shafted and someone going then on a murder spree so that looks interesting and then there was the exorcist up to date and boy does that look good um first movies first scary movie i ever saw was the exorcist and uh yeah back in the day that was a, a mega movie uh, and this one looks pretty good now the one that came after it the locust one ugh, it was a bit a bit rubbish to be honest with you I've gone a bit dry hang on that was a bit rubbish <clears throat> but this one it does look like they've got their act together again and it's pretty good but yeah so end death the film report by crochet rocks i can see me getting dragged to that though um i don't do horror normally um but i know a few people are gonna be oh, i want to see that and i know gary does so um yeah i can see it happening and you know it's not real that's all I keep telling myself. It's not real. I'm leaving the cinema. I'm walking home. You know, it's fine. It's not going to kill me. It's not real. Still don't mind that much. I don't mind some. Like, um, all of the insidious ones I've been fine with, you know. They're fine. I don't mind those. Um, some of them I get a bit, oh, why am I here? Why am I watching this? Why'd you bring me here, Gary? Why'd you make me do this? But, um yeah afterwards i'm usually okay you know it's a bit blase about it really so yeah um yeah good day though yeah nice um little walk around the shops i had a little look in new look nothing in there for me you know i looked at the boots and i had a bit of a bad experience with some new look boots once they um they were nice looking i really liked them but every time i wore them i got zapped by electric shocks and it was the nylon sole well, um, you know when you walk across especially shopping precincts malls you walk along there your nylon shoes rubbing on the nylon floor and you touch something and pow, off you go i could spontaneously combust i used to charge up so much so yeah um i don't kind of I, I look at them and i think oh, i like them but i'm not going through that again <laughs> no <laughs> you know Although, with the price of electricity, it might not be a bad idea. You know, just wire me into the grid and uh, I could save myself a fortune this winter. But yeah, I had a bit of a bad experience. So although I look at them and think they're not bad, it's like, nah, I can't be doing with that. And everything I looked at, all the fashions, they all seem to be um, shirts with pretend shirts under and kind of up to the kind of bust area and like smocked after that and I thought oh I'm not sure they're gonna be very me you know but sometimes I look in there and I think oh that's quite nice but nothing really nothing really inspired me excuse me that's this nothing really inspired me anyway I just thought I'd get on and let you know where I was and uh, what I was up to today because I know I've got a few I hope you're okay messages and um, I didn't want you guys to think that there's something up with me because there really isn't and I was fine I just had to give someone else some attention and time so um, at any moment now um, I expect Gary to come looking for me we just had dinner it was a nice early one the diet's going really well I have to say I had a bit of a moment with him. I thought he was going to give it up, or I said to him, "If he was, if it carries on making you grumpy, for goodness sake, don't do it anymore." But he was like, "No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine." So uh, I've given him a few extra things to um, make it interesting. You know, he's had strawberries and cream. He's had a warrior bar, and then what did I give him last night? He had something else last night. Vodka. That all. <laughs> that always helps. Um, sweeten the pill there was something else we introduced in the diet oh, we introduced some nuts so you know it's starting to feel like it's not just monotonous now but we were shopping earlier 
and he picked up sugar-free polos and he said should we get them no and then he picked up an energy drink and went no so every time he <laughs> picks something up i tend to go no but yeah um next time i, I said raspberries next time because i know he miss really wants to have some raspberries so um, that'll be all right but yeah, it's going well we had salmon this evening and asparagus in a cheese sauce which was really nice but he said it's not going to be very filling and I said, it always fills me, you know, salmon always stuffs me. I can never finish it. So, but later on, we've got plenty of snacky things to fall back on. But yeah, Gary's at work this weekend, so we're back to normal tomorrow with um, my usual ability to do my videos as and when I, they should be done. And there won't be anything kind of, um, you know, no going out sort of thing, or unless I pop out myself but apparently it's going to be really really mega hot tomorrow that's what they say um but by tuesday it will start getting cooler again so um this weekend it's going to be a scorcher and because it is that means all of those holiday makers are going to be down here for the last hurrah before the end of that good weather so i i imagine it'll be rammed around here tomorrow and sunday so um a good time to stay in and catch up with some video in and uh you know do some do some youtube in which is what i intend to do so thank you for watching i was okay today don't worry i was fine um just um you know i had some stuff to do and, and when i was trying to send that message today to say oh the video not video today because you know things took over um, I was trying to put a happy picture, but where I was at the cinema at the, by this time, trying to get the message on, the internet was awful and it wouldn't load it. So I could only, before the movie, quickly do a message. And um, I didn't mean it to sort of sound as if I was in trouble of any kind or um, ill or, you know. So yeah, sorry if I worried anyone, uh, but I'm all right. And I'll see you tomorrow nice and well hopefully not too early for my usual and i'll see you then bye for now